WrestleMania Night 1 took place and after some shaky delays, was it a good pay view? We'll start off with sort of the opening of the show, open with Vince McMahon um, basically saying, welcome to WrestleMania. Um, looked great. I think the whole thing of Vince getting that opening pop sort of made sense. The chairman with his, his patented WrestleMania um, all made sense. Then Bebe Rexa performed the America, uh, what was it? Land of the Brave, I think. Can't remember. Apologies to any Americans. Um, and then we think, yes, get ready for Drew Lashley. No, Michael Cole said there's been weather delays, so we have to pers- delay Mania. So that was delayed for another probably half an hour as the fans had to be moved. But we got the match. We got the match. Lashley versus MVP. Lashley and MVP versus Drew. Some love, by the way. Before the thing, lovely promos. Because obviously they had to delay. They have to sort of work on the spot. Drew cut an amazing promo. MVP came and saved Shane's, Shane's promo. Uh, KO, New Day, Biggie. They clearly got the best promo was in the company. And told, can you come basically save our bacon? And um, that's what they did. But going into the sort of the opening match... Drew has been built as this big Scottish brute and how the, he, he's not stopping. He, he's going to take out Lashley. He's carried WWE on his back for a year now. I think he was last Mania when he beat Brock very comfortably. And then he's, like, he has been that champion. And then Lashley, again, has, has the her business and MVP were one of the most entertaining things on Raw along with Drew. So this match could have gone either way. I think I think everyone was expecting a Drew in. Like, Drew gets the big pop at the top of the show. Wasn't Lashley, puts him in the herlock, makes director not tap out and not get pinned, pass out. So it sort of protects Drew a little bit of like the not giving up factor. But what a way to sort of shock everyone. I think it was actually quite smart because I think the main event then was, had that more thing of like, well, Bianca's the baby face, but Drew wasn't. I think a lot of people expected Drew to win. So... It, that, that that sort of set the precedent for the night, and it was a shame. I think Drew, I don't want to say Drew should have definitely won, but because Lashley deserves it, and it was it would have been such a short reign. But where does Drew go? I feel like he's either going to be a crusade against the hurt business, or when that draft day does come, does he make the switch over to SmackDown? Um, obviously, I think also these two had a lot to do with because of that delay. They really had to get the crowd energised, and I think they did that really well. Um, good way to open up. Bit of a shock, but sort of sets the seeds for the future. Um, then we had the Fatal Five ways opened with Natalia, not Natalia, um, Naomi and Lana against Billy Kay and Carmella. Carmella and Billy Kay get the first elimination on them. They um, lovely. Carmella holds the rope and puts her feet on Billy Kay's back as Billy Kay's pinning Naomi, giving them a bit more leverage. Um, very nice pin on that. Then we had um, the Riot Squad come out. They eliminated. Um, they eliminated Billy Kay and Carmella if I'm right. And then the Mandy Rose and Dana Brooke came out. The right squad eliminated them. I feel sorry for Mandy. Mandy did slip. It was the sort of the first, I think, only slip of the night. That match was probably wasn't my favourite in the segment just because a lot of stuff went wrong. A lot of co- wardrobe, wardrobe malfunctions. I think uh, the water had dripped down on the section when they went outside. So people, like wrestlers, were losing the grip on not being able to get into the ring quick enough. So pin counts were a lot slower in that section for some reason. I don't know why. Um, then we had the, the final two, Natalia Tamina, who the sort of the favourites. They did beat the Riot Squad, which I think is a shame. They go to face Nine Shane at night too. But I, I I think this could lead to Riot Squad doing something. I think they've got a whole excuse of how well, we eliminate, we 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 only lost because you came in last. If you came in earlier, we would have won. You know what I mean? So I think Riot Squad, if Natalia and Tamina do win, Riot Squad and then next challengers. And considering they're the, probably the only legitimate tag team uh, in the company, I think. That, that sort of works well, and I'd love to see them go for it. We have then Cesaro defeating Seth Rollins. And again, the, nothing much on play, but it was all about Cesaro getting that first... It was his first ever, I think, singles match in Mania, and now it's also his first ever win uh, in a singles match with you. Seth Rollins is great. Don't get me wrong, this was all about Cesaro. Hit the record number amount of Cesaro, so I think it was 22. And I'm not going to say it was match tonight. It was a great match. Match tonight comes later for me. But it was a good match. It had everything out to do. Cesaro just looks like a beast. Seth looks like that conniving heel that he always is. And I hope this leads to maybe Cesaro going for the Intercontinental belt against Big E or Apollo. Hopefully Big E. Uh, fingers crossed for that. But 
it, it leads to a lot of stuff. And I think Seth could go on sort of a darker path. And, and basically, after being swung and stuff, he's sort of in his own head. And maybe he tries re-recruiting Murphy. I'd love a Murphy Seth food of Murphy going, you know what you did? You you, you know what you did to me? I'm, I'm just not going to forgive you like that. And then maybe Murphy sort of, do you know how we had, when it was, what was it, Brian and the Wyatts, where Brian pretended to be part of the Wyatts? I'd like to, if Murphy sort of pretended to be under Seth's spell a little bit. And, and like, and then eventually turns on him. Uh, but Cesaro gets his win. Hopefully this is bigger things for him. Um, AJ and Omos defeated the New Day. Now, this is my match of the night. I said that I said it before that Man 1 came late and it's basically the match straight after. Not even, it was the shortest match on the card. But it, it was, for me, it, it epitomised both these wrestlers sort of. The New Day, all joking when they come down the ring. Big E gave them the entrance and they're all joking. And then when they got in the ring, they wrestled like a tag team. They're cutting the ring in half. Woods was drugs saying, oh, I'm cutting the ring in half, AJ, you're not a tag team wrestler. But it, it, it sort of made sense. They did that. They wrestled like a tag team, whereas AJ and Omos didn't. AJ had his backup plan. He had Omos. New Day, for nearly probably half of the match, just tried to stop Omos getting in. They did really well with that. And then as soon as Omos came in, the, the complexion changed. And it was all in AJ and Omos' favour. AJ has a lovely forearm, off, a phenomenal forearm off Omos' shoulders. But Omos is a star. He, he's great. He's this good, great enforcer that can... Sort of elevate, like elevate himself while elevating AJ at the same time. Um, and obviously tag team champions now, I don't know who they would actually go and face, you know. Because you've got, on the, if you look at the Raw brand, you've got New Day. You don't have many tag teams and that's my word that they'll just, it'll just be AJ almost versus New Day. And that's like continued. So hopefully we can get a new kind of feud, but... Really enjoy this match and quick, fast pace because it, it worked long and it did everything for me. Um, I can't, uh, no matches, even this match. Braun Strowman and Shane McMahon in a steel cage match. I wasn't excited for this. I don't think many people were excited for a Shane and Braun match. Braun looked good. In terms of not in ring, Shane the heel again, using his cronies. Braun ripping. I like the sort of, normally steel cage you see him, throw him into the cage or get some kendos or stuff from outside, put them in. Completely different. Just utilising the stuff on the cage. I think Shane ripped a piece of metal bat, uh, like uh, sheet metal, and just started hitting Braun with that. And I think the spot that I think we all remember is, well, there was two spots. So Riker and Elias climb up the top. Strowman just pummels them off it as Shane makes Shane pain. And Shane looks like he's climbing out. Strowman grabs his hand through the thing and just peels the cage off. Something we don't, we haven't, off the top of my head in a steel cage. Like we haven't seen it. The, the cage has just been peeled off. Braun picking him up, throwing him off, and then just for added pain, running power slam, and for the pain. So never escaped, which I kind of like. Sort of just gives that one, two, three as well. Um, Strowman looked good. He did, and I don't know where he goes, because I think, unfortunately, a win against Shane doesn't do anything. Doesn't It doesn't do anything at all. But it's a win for Strowman in this feud. It, 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 maybe it's one of them. For me, I didn't feel like the the, the emotional connection. But Strong, when you said this is for anyone that's being called stupid, and boom hits it, people may have been able to resonate with that. Um, but decent match. I actually didn't hear. It. There was no matches on these cards where I went. Even the Fatal Five, which is probably the match I wasn't excited for more because it just didn't have any build. But they did really well in making maybe because they were a crowd, but making it all feel important. Um, match six and nine, the penultimate match. What a shock! I mean. I've seen people online claiming, is this the best uh, WrestleMania celebrity appearance? I mean, I'm a big Pat McAfee fanboy and I really enjoyed his table match. But Bad Bunny clearly wanted to do some, like, show that he, he is a fan. No, no celebrity is trying to hit a Canadian destroyer on the outside of the ring apart from Bad Bunny. He did really well. Um, Miz as well. Miz and Joe Moore are obviously going to be the best people to put in with him. Because they are one of the safest workers. But Bad Bunny kept up. and So it was like Miz trying to keep Priest away from the match. Bad Bunny, um, Bad Bunny and Priest hit a double Falcon Arrow. Which was just great. It, Bad Bunny was hitting wrestling moves. It was very something to help. Do you know when we were all shocked that Pat McAfee was hitting these legitimate wrestling things? Bad Bunny was doing that. But I feel like Bad Bunny's... Pat McAfee was an, is an athlete. Like we are the NFL uh, punter uh, kicker as well. And like... He, he like we've seen him do stuff on his own shows. We saw nothing of Bad Bunny. We saw nothing 
nothing of him at all, at all. So for that to sort of happen was, I think, great, great showing. Um, Bad Bunny hit a crossbody outside the ring. Um, Miss hit the school crush and finale. Bad Bunny broke up. Like something you don't normally see is you normally see the wrestler, get, the celebrity getting hit, and then the wrestler breaking up. Vice versa here. Priest looks good. Priest looks really good. Uh, the finish was a bad bun, uh, bad bunny and Priest hit an electric ch- chair slash uh, cross crossbody on Miz. Bad bunny got the pin. Great. Bad bunny, what a showing for someone I don't think many people expected to do anything at all. He proved everyone, everyone um, wrong. And then the final match is the main event. My God, are these two, maybe the two best women wrestlers on the cr- roster currently? Bianca Belair defeating Sasha Banks. First of all, the first ever singles match to main event WrestleMania, if I'm correct off the top of my head. The first ever match of two people of colour to main event WrestleMania, and the same with women as well. Well done. Well done. And Sasha Banks, I, I've gone on record and said that I, I, I'm a bit, I prefer Burley. I'm not a big fan of Sasha, but she might be one of the best pound for pound wrestlers on the roster, and that's including the men's division as well. She's incredible. Bianca is a dog and wrong. Um, the spot, it was a spot that made me just go, these two are dynamite. Sasha, it's a lovely dive from outside the ring, and I'm like, that's great. Bianca rolls through, rolls through the dive, picks her up, puts her above her head, and then throws her into the ring. Sasha saw like a dream. Bianca, I think, the one spot I think a lot of people, it'd be the, the sound everyone remembers, is the wh- the hair whip, the, the, revi- the reverberation around the Raymond James Stadium on that was awful. You hear the crowd, it's like a genuine reaction. Sometimes you see crowds like, oh, that was a genuine reaction from the fans of just, oh, just imagine the, the feeling that it would just kill. Um, Bianca, what a rise from stardom. Never an NXT champion. Didn't do much in NXT, to be honest. She, she was there, everyone loved her, we knew she was a great wrestler. But my God, when she's come up to the main roster... Has she impressed? Of course. But did anyone expect this? To win the Rumble, then to go and beat Sasha Banks in the main event. She's great. She's the future. I would love to see her go on a year run, hold it for an entire year to Mania. Where maybe I'd, I'd even see Sasha getting involved and Sasha getting in going, it's been a year on. Maybe maybe it's time, my chance again. I haven't got involved. I haven't put my head in any new business. Give me an opportunity. Oh, Sasha wins the Rumble. I'm even for because she's a wrestler. I think clearly can win it, but good show, none of the matches disappointed, which I think is one thing a lot of people would have expected, there was always, there's always normally one dud um, on the show, and I think we might get that next to, to, tonight, with Naya and Shayna versus Natalia and Tamina, just because we've seen Natalia and Tamina, um, but yeah, it was very good, very good indeed, love the show, don't forget to check out the review that will be coming tomorrow, the review uh, for night two will be out tomorrow, and then we'd have a raw. Oh, do I do? Am I doing a reaction stream for that? The go, the the f- raw after mania. Oh, am I doing a review show? Check the social media. Check the YouTube when it goes out. Um, but my God, what a pay per view! What a pay per view! I'm 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 sh- I'm saddened that I didn't watch it live. I was I was tired. I was in pain. But I woke up in the morning, and it did not disappoint. We go to night two. There will be a review out. Literally probably exactly the same time tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow all the social media channels right at the bottom. Um, And yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.